evening. This is for either of you two. Uh, third quarter, when they got on that run, what did you see them doing well? What did you think you guys were not doing as well? Um, I think they did a good job of just when they turned up, turned us over, they scored off of that and just transition defense. Uh, I said it multiple times that we just needed second and third effort. Uh, I think we did a good job of just stopping their first option or like stopping the first initial play, but it was on the back end that hurt us really bad. Uh, either of you could answer this, but um, Coach was saying that she didn't recognize the team that was out there tonight. I don't know if you all agree with that or have a reaction, but um, how do you get back to that identity of the team that you know she knows to be true um, for the next game? Uh, the biggest thing is we just got to come together and play how what got us here. I mean, tonight we only had 11 assists, and that's, that's bad for us. Normally, when we average 20 or more assists, we come out with a win. So I'll say we just got to come together and play together. Anybody else in the room? I feel pretty powerful on the microphone. Andrew, go ahead. <laughs> All right, first we're gonna go to Rafiq. Rafiq, go ahead and ask your question. This is a question for Satu Sapoli. I wanna to talk to you about that. I mean, hey, Rafiq, Satu's not out here tonight. Oh, I apologize. I, um, I, I wanna get you. you. I wanna get your thoughts on that with Satu Sapoli back on the court tonight. For me, three. I apologize. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> He's, what are you saying? Sorry, can you say a question again, sir? I said, I want to get your thoughts on the Sachi Sambly back on the court and how helpful will it be going into game two? Um, it's great. It's great to have her back. Always just missing a piece of our team is, it sucks, but uh, she's finally back. She does a good job just spacing our floor, picking pops. I can't tell too much of her secret or tea because we might need to use the next game, but it's good to have her back and just have almost a full team. Sorry about that. Good luck. All right, next we're going to go to Peter Warren. Peter, go ahead and ask your question. Hey, this is for uh, either one of you. How can you, you guys work to get the ball to Tierra more and make her just more comfortable through the flow of the game on offense and defense? Uh, I mean, the biggest thing, we just got to feed uh, T the ball. I mean, tonight she only had six shot attempts. That's not ideal for her. I mean, she's a big part of offense and what gets us going. And a lot of times when we win the games, I mean, she's a big key in what we do. So, I mean, next game we just got to get T more involved in the offense and give her the ball and let her go to work. And did you guys feel there was a, a nervous energy from the, the team today? I don't think we had a nervous energy. I mean, I think we came out ready to play. I mean, they just put together a great game and – uh. <laughs> we kind of backtracked a little bit, but we're ready for the next game. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Next, we're going to go to Drew Ivory. Uh, this question is for Alicia. Alicia, you know you've had playoff experience in the past, and usually it's a one-and-done situation, but you have a, a second chance this time. How important is that, and what are your first thoughts about, you know, changing things? I mean, it's good. I mean, it gives us another chance to come out and compete. I mean, last year it was one and done, and it's a good thing because you can have a bad game one night and then come out and have a great game the next. So, I mean, the biggest thing is just going to come together, practice, regroup, and be better prepared for next game. Thank you.